PD Daily, 21 Days of Encouragement, day number 10. You don't want man as your king. You want God as your king. In 1 Samuel chapter 8, the people of God cry out to Samuel, let us look like all the nations around us and give us a king. Ironically, Samuel was sad about that, but the culture of the people of Israel were thrilled about that. If you go to Judges chapter 21, you'll recognize a little verse, and it represents the entirety of the book of Judges. And everybody did what was right in their own eyes. The history of Israel is God makes a covenant, he chooses them, then he pours his blessing out upon them, and instead of the people of God enjoying the blessing like they're supposed to and loving and worshiping their God as their king, they take the blessing, forget the blesser, and then they fall into disobedience. The only thing that brings them back is discipline. Do you know why you want God as your king? It's not only because he's worthy of worship. It's not only because he's the creator and he's abounding in love to the uttermost by sending his only son, Jesus. It's also the fact that your heavenly king does what no earthly king can do and he invites you to call upon him. Have you read Psalm 103? Don't worry, I'm not gonna read the whole passage. But here's just a few verses. Listen to this. Bless the Lord, O my soul and forget not all of his benefits. What's he do? He forgives all of your iniquities. He heals all of your diseases. He redeems your life from the pit. He crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. He satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. Anybody oppressed? Anybody need righteous judgment that comes from God? Anybody need forgiveness? All of that comes from your heavenly king. Good grief. Today, stop worrying about what man thinks, what man wants to do, and start enjoying your heavenly king. He has all authority in heaven and on earth, and he calls you by name.